Uh, all right, hi everybody. Um, <clears throat> I decided that it was about time for me to film a new um, Star Trek rant because uh, I've pretty much rewatched all the series um, since I've been home, and uh, I really feel a lot differently about them now. Uh, this is going to be a more general uh, video, not really about uh, any particular series. It's it's more about all of them. Um, since I've uh, again, since I've filmed my last videos, I've I've pretty much you know rewatched everything: Voyager, DS9, Enterprise, the original series, and the animated series. And uh, I, I kind of feel a little bit differently. Based on my other ants, I think you can see that I, I really felt that um, Enterprise was was a, a really great series, and I still feel that way for many reasons. Um, I think there were very few annoying characters on that show. Um, okay, I've said before, I think they cleaned a lot of things up really, really well. Um, uh, one thing people have pointed out is that, story-wise, it doesn't exactly fit into the original series chronology as best as it should, uh, based on a couple of quotes um, from Kirk. Uh, I, I don't really think it's, it's set in a different universe, as a lot of people suggest. I, I just think that perhaps a lot of the stuff that Archer did what didn't exactly go in the books. There was no established United Federation of Planets at that point, and we do get very little of the story overall. Um, however, thinking about it now, I think that um, I think that Enterprise was plagued with a lot of bad writing. The first couple of seasons, there were just a lot of bad episodes, kind of, for me, uh, anyway. Uh, for example, I'd say that there were a lot more bad episodes of Enterprise than there were of, say, the original series, right? Uh, but uh, I think otherwise, you know, it, it, it was a pretty good show. Um, good characters, good development, just and, and the last two seasons of, of Enterprise were really, really cool, obviously better special effects and stuff like that. Now, um, Voyager and DS9. Um, once Voyager came around to its third season, there was definitely some really good acting. There was definitely, uh, there were definitely a lot of good episodes. <clears throat> At the same time, um, it, it did it did get a little stagnant in spots, and you could make the same argument for DS9. A lot of people on my rants have more or less commented that uh, DS9 turned into this whole love story kind of thing, and it, it was just too preachy and, and a little too religious for a lot of people. Um, some people have even claimed that the Jem Hadar were a little bit annoying. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with that, but I guess I could put uh, I guess I could put Voyager and and DS9 in kind of the same place in that they were kind of new uh, things that that they wanted to try out, and uh, in a lot of ways it worked out well. I'm I'm not trying to say I dislike those shows in any way. However, uh, they were. They were really, really just not quite there uh, a lot of the time. Uh, Next Generation. I would tend to agree with people that Next Generation was <clears throat> way too techy most of the time. There was a lot of techno babble, and, and you had to be really, really. Uh, um, there's a PC term to. To describe just nerdy, you had to be really, really nerdy to be into that show, right? Um, I mean, the people who who started uh, started their Trek career with the uh, with a uh, next gen are the type of people who like to be called Trekkers and and such. 
uh, when Gene Roddenberry has clearly stated at most conventions that he uh, went to that it's tricky, <laughs> right? But point being, uh, although it was a great show, uh, I know I no longer think it was the best one. Uh, I thought it was the best one for a long time, but um, that show has a lot of problems in that uh, a lot of the characters don't develop well and uh, they're essentially just reproductions of, of the original series characters. Now, one thing I did discover recently uh, while I was back in China was that uh, they redid the original series with more modern um, effects and stuff like that. So I checked it out and uh, although I was a little bit surprised at what they left the same, uh, the stuff they did touch up was spectacular. Uh, I think really they they did a lot of justice to the series by by touching it up a little bit. Uh, the colors just look deeper, they're better. Uh, a lot of the effects have been updated to something a little bit more modern, you know. At the same time, I don't really see why they left the Gorn, for example, in Arena as the same guy in the rubber suit. Um, his eyes blink now, but I really think that they could have uh, just overall done a, a bit better job on that. One moment. <clears throat> hey, come back in a couple minutes. Uh, I'm going to tell you to uh, get ready. So we're going to get some food. Uh, so come, get ready and come around front. All right, let me, I just, I'm filming a video. Right? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, so it's uh, it, it's a situation where um, where where some of the things they left alone are surprising, uh, yet at the same time um, the updates made it really really good and it's just vivid and, and nicer to watch. The ship is CG now. It's 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 a lot more where I think it should be. And I also since they've made the animated series canon, uh, meaning that it's officially part of the Star Trek universe that is now officially season four and a bit of season five of the original series which uh, clears up a lot of the stuff that you see in Enterprise in, uh, in Enterprise and in the movies, in the Star Trek movies they utilize a lot of stuff from the animated series so being that I, I, I've got to go uh, eat with some people right now I'm gonna go ahead and summarize like this I still believe that the original series is uh, by far the best. Um, Enterprise, it's hard for me to categorize Enterprise because it's, um, it's a good series in its last two seasons, but I, I think it, it really fell short in its first two. Uh, so I would, uh, I would go ahead and say that for me right now, um, Enterprise is probably the worst. Uh, on my docket, as far as like story goes, writing goes, the effects are great. The characters aren't annoying. Development's good, but just poorly written for a while. I think um, you could put DS9 and Voyager kind of in the same category together, um, as they uh, as as they kind of deal with new premises, which I like about them. At the same time. They went in a couple of directions that, that, that maybe they should have avoided. And uh, the animated series, uh, I, would, I, I would put that, you know, the episodes are shorter and such, but I would still put that in the same category with the original series. I thought it was really, really good, and, and now, again, that it's canon, it's worthwhile. So, um, but all in all, they're well worth a watch. So... Uh, watch them all. Just make sure to watch them in order and, uh, you know, uh, just try not to think about the techno babble and next gen too much. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Bye bye.